Hello, friends and family. So as you may or may not know, um, I do IT work. I'd like to say that I do it on the side, but uh, no, that pays the bills. So I had this gig the other day where I had to set up this particular customer for a fairly complex Wi-Fi setup. This customer, actually, they have multiple customers that rent space within their their building, their campus. And the challenge was setting it up so that each one of these customers could connect to a Wi-Fi, be isolated from everything else, you know, be isolated from other people on different Wi-Fis, and also be isolated from the corporate network, and also be able to print to their own printers. Now, um, for those of you who don't do IT, uh, yeah, you may just want to stop the video and move on and look at cat videos some, somewhere um, because it gets kind of dry. But, you know, I'm putting this up here because it may help somebody somewhere. So, um, so here we go. So this is a Meraki network, Cisco Meraki network. It, is, it consists of... I think there's six or seven 48-port uh, PoE switches, 40-some-odd Wi-Fi access points, and the idea was to set it up so that one of, one of their customers could connect to a Wi-Fi network, go anywhere on the campus, and be able to surf the internet, and also be able to print to a Wi-Fi printer that was stationed in their own little office space that they rent. So what I utilized, and I wanted to make it as simple as possible. I knew that I could set up um, complex VLANs and everything, um, but I wanted it super simple because, as the name of the channel says, it's Lazy Dave's Ramblings. Well, um, you know, I would rather find a way to work smarter than harder, and I didn't want to go through each one of these switches, which a few of them are daisy chained, and start working on individual ports and creating VLANs and uh, yeah, because it, it was getting way too complicated. So I used a kind of cool feature that Meraki offers where you can tunnel the Wi-Fi clients directly to the concentrator or router. In this case, they have an MX100, which is a pretty powerful router. And so I created VLANs for each SSID. So when a client connects to that particular SSID, their traffic is tunneled directly to the router. The router says, oh, hey, I know you. You're supposed to be on VLAN 10, say. So here's an IP address. And you have the capability of, um, of talking to any other device on VLAN 10. So there you go. Have a nice day. The beauty of this was that once I set it up, all of these individual customers, they could have their own SSID. We actually created kind of a catch-all SSID for some of those smaller customers that were either single people or or only, only a couple people. The larger customers who may have had um, many, many printers and uh, you know um, half a dozen to a dozen employees, something like that, they all got their own SSID. So they'll just log directly in to their own particular SSID. And now they can print from anywhere on the campus to their printer, which is connected to the Wi-Fi, anywhere on the campus and it just works magically. It is fantastic. So um, so there you go. Hit me up in the comments if you want more details. Um, uh, yeah, and be well, be good. See ya.